Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Goth from 2003. It's the 44th film in the Fitted to Crap a Crypt of Nightmares collection, is directed by Brad Sykes, and stars Phoebe Dollar and Laura Riley. So close, so tantalizingly close to good that I could practically have tasted it with this movie. Which comes as a huge shock because with a title like Goth, I fully expected some vampire shit or a movie about people unaliving themselves, but that is not what we got with this Goth. Since I couldn't find any acceptable for TikTok photos from this movie, here are photos either of Mia Goth films or from Mia Goth films. Enjoy. Quick tangent, when I saw this film was coming up, it reminded me of this little gem of a movie I saw back in the 90s called Gothic that was about the events surrounding Mary Shelley writing Frankenstein. I haven't seen it since, but I remember it being good. Should look that one up one of these days. Anyway, back to Goth. This movie is actually good. Or at least it is until about halfway through when the rug is pulled out from under your feet and it becomes a much more boring film. The first half is decent. Two lovers living the goth lifestyle bump into a similar-minded woman named Goth who saves them from muggers and suggests they all do drugs to celebrate, then kidnaps them and takes them on a journey into sadism and madness across the city all in the interest of finding out if they're true hardcore goths or not. Spoiler alert, one of them isn't. Then at around the halfway point, we discover that they're along for the ride because one believes Goth killed her sister and she wants revenge. After that point, this character gets the chance to kill Goth multiple times and fails to do it every time until at the end of the film, when it no longer matters. It's too bad, too, because this film was building at being a road trip version of something like The Last House on the Left until the limp-dicked revenge aspect kicks in around halfway in. Phoebe Dollar, who plays Goth, does a good job with a less-than-stellar script. Certainly a better job than the character of Boone does with the same not-so-great dialogue. And speaking of dialogue, it's all recorded well so you can actually understand what the fuck is going on in this movie. This is especially good during the club scene at the beginning that's half movie, half music video. I can't believe I'm saying this about another Fifty to Crap a Crypt of Nightmares movie, especially one titled Goth, but if you find a copy of this film and have a free afternoon, I wouldn't tell you no. And no vampire shit and no talking about unaliving oneself except for a few lines about 40 minutes in. I'm giving Goth a C. Tomorrow we watch the sequel to Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049. See y'all then.